Now in this lecture, we are going to discuss about the basic graphs and its transformation. So before starting the chapter, I will tell you to remember the 10 basic graphs that I am going to show you first. If you can remember these 10 basic graphs, we can do the transformation easily. Is it clear? So this is the first, since it is a basic mathematics uh, chapter, that is why I will not go in very details of those graphs and all. Uh, this we will do elaborately when we will do functions uh, in calculus. So right now, just remember these 10 basic graphs so that we can go for the transformation. So this is our first graph, which is your y equals to x. Is it clear? y equals to x is basically a straight line passing through the origin. You know the coordinate system, right? In class 10 standard, you have all gone through this coordinate system. So this is the equation of a straight line, which is passing through the origin. This is the equation y equals to x. Okay. This is our second graph which is your y equals to x square. y equals to x square in geometry, we call this thing as parabola. So don't try to remember right now that the name of this curve is parabola. Just remember the curve, okay? For a time being, just remember the curve. So this is your y equals to x square, okay? Now the third basic graph is y equals to mod of x. y equals to mod of x. Mod of x we know, we have done this thing in special functions. The graph of mod x looks like this. The right hand side line is, you have seen that I have already uh, mentioned that the line, the equation of the line is y equals to x. And in the left hand side, the equation of the line is y equals to minus x. So this is the graph of y equals to mod x as a whole. Now, the next graph is y equals to x is cubed y equals to x is cube you just remember this curve it is passing through the origin and you see it is symmetric you know it is symmetric about the origin right in the first quadrant the portion of the graph is same as the portion of the graph in the third quadrant that is why this graph is symmetric about the origin the equation uh, we uh, the equation of this graph is y equals to x is cube now see the next graph which is y equals to root x okay this is the equation this is the curve of y equals to root x just remember those basic graphs next graph is y equals to 1 by x you see the curve is not touching the x and y axis is it touching the x and y axis no it is coming very very close to the x and y axis but it is not touching this kind of lines where the curve is coming very close to a line but it is not touching that line that kind of line is what called your asymptote it's clear it is called asymptote so here in this curve y equals to 1 by x your x axis as well as y axis is your asymptote is it clear now the next curve is y equals to sin x y equals to sin x you just see it is just like a wave okay passing through the origin and it is intersecting the x axis at pi 2 pi 3 pi and in the negative direction minus pi minus 2 pi minus 3 pi and this thing goes on the next basic graph is y equals to cos x it is you know it just looks like the same as your sin x graph but there's a little difference that is in the sin x graph, you can see that it is intersecting the x axis at pi, 2 pi, 3 pi and this thing. But in case of your cos x graph, it is intersecting the x axis at pi by 2, 3 pi by 2, 5 pi by 2 and this thing goes on. In the negative direction also, it is minus pi by 2, minus 3 pi by 2, minus 5 pi by 2 and all. Is it clear to all of you? So this is the graph of y equals to sin x and y equals to cos x. Okay. The next graph is y equals to log x. Look at very carefully. y equals to log x and the base is a. When a is lying between 0 and 1, the curve looks like this. Is it clear? Again, you see your y axis is the asymptote to this graph. Okay. y equals to log x base a when a is lying from 0 to 1. Now, when a is greater than 1, the curve looks like this. 
is it clear again y axis is the asymptote to this log x curve is it clear okay the next curve is y equals to a to the power x when a is greater than 1 you see the curve looks like that is it clear again you see in this case your x axis is the asymptote to this curve y equals to a to the power x where a is greater than 1 when a is lying between 0 and 1 again you see the curve looks like this okay again your x axis is the asymptote to this curve so these are the 10 basic curves that we have to remember now one thing you must remember that if you want to find out the point where the curve is intersecting the x axis you put in the equation you put y equals to 0 so you will get the point where it is intersecting i mean the curve is intersecting the x axis and if you want to find out the curve where it is intersecting the y axis you put x equals to 0 in the equation so you will get the value of y that y is basically the ordinate of that point where the curve is intersecting the y axis okay is it clear have you make a note of this if you have not make a note of this you please pause the video on your paper you draw these basic graphs and then you come for the transformation then you will understand the transformation very easily is it clear